U2 is definitely my favorite band. <laughs> Especially the song Invisible. There's a line in that song that says, I'm more than you know, I'm more than you see, I'm not invisible. After the assault, I really did feel invisible and in that I didn't have a voice. I feel so blessed to have Omaze giving me the opportunity to meet Bono. It was really key to my whole attitude transformation. Normal children are born with their foot like this, but a club foot, or at least when I was born, mine was like that. My foot was upside down and backwards. From when she was little, we talked a lot about what does it mean to be different and told her, we think you're beautiful and we just treat her like a normal kid. A normal kid who has to have surgeries, who is used to hospitals and doctors. I'm not gonna give up, I'm just gonna keep trying. I had to stop playing sports in fourth grade, but I kind of felt like I had a superpower. Like, guys, I'm so cool. Like, I don't have toenails. I look different than you. I'm awesome. She went to high school so excited. This is gonna be awesome. It'll be great. And what I heard was while my sister was in the locker room when she had to change shoes, a girl noticed her feet and they had scars and they didn't really have any toenails. And she said, well, she came over to me at lunch and she asked me to talk. She wanted to ask me a question. And when she got there, there were, I don't know, maybe seven or eight kids or some sitting around this table. One of them held her down and Chloe was saying, no, 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 and they wouldn't stop. And then one of them ripped off her shoes and socks. She didn't punch them. She didn't fight back. She was really in shock. And it was really hard uh, as a father to watch that. As a mom, I was trying really hard. Sorry. Police came the next day and read these girls their rights. And in that moment, she realized that she had been a victim of a crime. What was taken from her was really her innocence. I was really ashamed of myself and my body, and it was the worst feeling in the world. It was worse than the pain of my surgeries. It was worse than all that. She had come so far, come so far out of her shell. And to watch her in the following days just totally go inside herself and just, she couldn't sleep and she didn't, she was just like void. As a father watching this, it was devastating. And I kept asking, when is she gonna find her voice? When we found out that Bono was gonna do an experience to benefit Red and help deliver an AIDS-free generation, we were super excited. And that's one of the great things about being here is we get to see everyday people meet their heroes and they can have these transformational experiences. During Christmas break, my dad got a FaceTime call. It was Jordan from Olay's. So your dad entered for a chance to meet Bono and we randomly chose a winner and it's him. <laughs> Can you believe it? Wow. I get to take a guest, is that right? Yes. One guest? One guest. Backstage to meet Bono and the band. Can you believe it? <laughs> I felt like something was finally going right. It was finally starting to look up. I was really nervous. And I was on crutches from my surgery. He walked in. He was so cool, but at the same time, he, was, he felt so real. And she said, the reason it's been significant this year is because of this awful thing that had happened to me. And you could see that washing over Bono. You could see he understood the gravity of that experience for her. He said the arc of the universe bends towards justice and love. And when you have right on your side, it's like this big source of power. And he said that my words are powerful. When I use my power for good, then my words are like a punch, not a physical punch, but a verbal punch. And he said, with that punch, I can deliver my message to reach the world. It was really key to my whole transformation.
meeting with Ono shifted her whole world. Before she thought, I was like, I'm gonna be a pediatric orthopedic surgeon. And then she's like, came home and said, I don't wanna cut into people. I'm gonna be an advocate. I know that there are people that feel like they can't go on and feel like life is just so hard that it isn't worthwhile anymore. Um, Cause I felt like that last year. I was really desperate for someone who could say the magical words, I know what you're going through. I didn't really have that kind of person. I think that it'd be a really cool opportunity to be that person for so many people. To have the winner be somebody like Chloe with a story like that, with Bono had already played a huge role in her life, and then to actually be able to get to meet him is the once in a lifetime chance. When I was bullied, I took what they said about me, and that's how I viewed myself. But I don't need to take how they think of me, and I can think of myself what I want to think of myself. That being that I'm awesome, and that my foot is cool, and that God made me that way for a reason, and I am so excited to find out what it is. Wait a second, you usually need help. Well, I did it. What were you thinking about? I was thinking about, like, I'm not going to give up. I'm just going to keep trying. Even if I miss it, I'm going to keep trying.